Hi, this is Stuff with Kirby. I'm Kirby. Today we're going to be using a Raspberry Pi and a RTL SDR to track airplanes using a program called Dump 1090. We're going to use the stock antenna for this tutorial, but if you want to get a longer range or you don't live near any major airports, you might want a bigger antenna. So this is an antenna at the 1090 megahertz range. Works really good. The stock antenna that comes with it works good. I was able to pick up a few airplanes since I have a little local airport. But to pick up anything at quite a distance away, you need something bigger. Let's get started. So, first step here is we're going to go to the, the GitHub page for the program Dump 1090. It was a fork we're using from the originals from Anti-Res. We'll go here to this site. I found it kind of gives us good instructions on how to set it up. We're just going to follow the steps here starting at number 8. Going to already assume that you have the Wi-Fi or networking somehow set up on your Raspberry Pi and uh, you're using some method to connect to it. I'm using console cable, the console cable. You can SSH into it, do this all actually on the Pi hooked up to a screen. You could BNC in, just whatever method works best for you. The steps above 6, 5, and 7, the pseudo apt get update, I had already ran those, so to save time, I'm not showing those today. The install git core, I found I didn't need to do that. For this, today I'm using the Wheezy version of Raspbian, just because I have a 4 gig card and Jesse doesn't fit on there. So hopefully you'll be able to just follow along and do this also at the same time. I'm not really skipping ahead through any steps. This video is taking as long as it took me to do this. As I mentioned earlier, we're using the stock antenna. Depending on where you live, maybe you live near a bigger airport, you can pick up some good stuff. I was getting, I think about 40 miles maybe, a distance with it, and I just only had it sitting in the window. The signal that the planes use at 1090 megahertz doesn't really penetrate buildings very well, so you need to be near a window to pick anything up. I bought that larger antenna that you see, which I'll have links to all that information, and that greatly boosted my range. Now I'm getting up to 200 miles, and that's just with it sitting in a window again. When it gets nicer, out, I'll mount it up on an antenna up on the top of the house, and should get a little farther distance. So right now it looks like I'm just installing the the stuff for the RTL SDR. I'm using one that I had got from Adafruit. There's multiple vendors that make these. You can get one from wherever you like. They're all fairly cheap, around the twenty dollar range. For the Raspberry Pi, you could use a B Plus or a Raspberry Pi 2. I'm using a B Plus right now, and with the larger antenna, sometimes I get a, a message that it's using a lot of CPU, but 
it still works all right for now. I had also saw this project on Make Magazine, but they were using a BeagleBone Black. And also I found that, I don't know, maybe updates in uh, Linux since they did the tutorial, that there were some other things that you needed to do for it to work. Like we're at this step 12 here where it says to, to run make LD config. Their tutorial didn't show that, and it didn't work then at the end. So you had to start all over and go through all the steps again and run that command. So that's what I like about this person's tutorial kind of covers the problems that they have found installing it. This following these same instructions should work with a beagle bone if you have one, but I'm just not very experienced with the beagle bone. So I'm using something I know a little better. There's also a site called Flight Aware, and they have instructions on how to build up what they call the Pi Aware, and then it does the same. Th it uses the Dump 1090, but it also interfaces with their website, so you can see uh, stats, records information using just the Dump 1090 by itself. You're only going to see the live data. I don't think you can see past history. I guess I haven't really dug too far into it. But I'll put links to the Pioware and I'll probably make a video on setting that one up later too. Right now I'm just rebooting the Pi, it looks like. So now we're going to put the dump 1090 program on. As I said earlier, we're using Malcolm Rob version. It has a few more features than the original did. So now we got, we're making it, and then we're going to run it here. Hopefully this tutorial, the screen quality is a little better than my last one. I'm still figuring out the My Capture program, but I think it's a lot clearer to read this time. If you got any suggestions on how to make this better or things you want to see, just let me know in the comments. Alright, so I see I ran it and I had this, this error. Luckily, farther down on this page it tells you what to, what to do to fix that error. So here you see dump 1090 fails after Linux upgrade. There's a file you need to make and then just uh, blacklist a few things. This was another spot where I ran into issues when I was following the Make Magazine tutorial. 
but as I said, maybe something changed after it was made. But in the comments there, someone had mentioned this, so that was nice. So we just do that, and I'm just gonna reboot it now. And so I log back in. Now we're gonna we're gonna run the program again. But uh, before running, make sure you're in the dump 1090 folder. So now it's running. Now you should be able to go to your web browser, which would be your ad IP address. Which here I need to find out because I didn't write it down before. So. 192.160.1.164 and then we want to look for port 8080 so now I have my IP address I'm going to restart the program and now here you go so you'll have a map it'll show cute little planes for uh, what you're picking up but since I'm in my workshop downstairs I'm not near a window so I'm not really picking up any of the flights right now from this pie. So let's go to my my other one with the larger antenna that I have set up. So I'm gonna type that IP address up in the top window here in a minute. Alright, so typing it in. That yeah, looks like the right address. Just give it a few seconds. Whoops. Stupid auto fill in. Alright, so there you go. So that's my other one right now. So you can see I'm getting a pretty far distance past Chicago and I'm an hour north of Milwaukee or 60 miles about so this is what yours would look like when you're picking up stuff now we want the dump 1090 program we want it to start right away when we boot the Pi up so I don't need to connect to the Pi somehow I can just set this all up near a window or up in the attic with the wire going to the roof so we'll just open our text editor here and then we'll just cut and paste all this so it looks like I got it all in there good we're gonna save that file here in a second yeah So I'm looking here and it looks like I didn't have my little picture-in-picture picture of the text editing box uh, zoomed out far enough. Hopefully you were able to follow this along well. I guess maybe my third video will work. Third time's always a charm. So now we're just going to reboot it to make sure that it's auto starting correctly.
right? So here's the uh, flight aware. Hopefully you're still watching at this part of the video. I'd like to thank you for watching it. Hopefully it helped you out and it was easy to understand. If you have any suggestions of other projects I should try, let me know in the comments.